Hello everybody and a welcome in. We are here today in Satisfactory. I'm gonna be doing a bit of a let's play showing you the basics. <clears throat> Help you guys get a better understanding. Just starting out fresh. <clears throat> could call it kind of a tutorial type thing but hmm. yeah <clears throat> excuse me Gonna go ahead and do the onboarding process, take you all through that. You got the Dune Desert, Northern Forest. Dune Desert is where I usually play. I know where a lot of stuff is. Not gonna do that. One, that's a fairly advanced start. Area. Cool place to build, nice wide open spaces. Plenty of space to spread out your factory. Northern Forest, a little tougher build area because it's tight, cramped, going to be doing a lot of vertical building. Great resources though. Rocky Desert, a little more open. Resources are relatively close together. Water's really easy to get to with that one. But we're going to be doing the uh, grass fields. It's a nice, simple starting location. Great for early power. Resources are abundant, if not the best. But let's jump in it. I've turned off mm, Ada... Because during the game, I don't want to have to be talking over her or anything like that. So I'm just going to let the uh, introductory video play and I'll meet you back up on the ground. Attention Pioneer, the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. Complete. 
Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Okay. Now. Yes, AD, I know. Let's just clear all that. He's given us tasks to do. We need to first dismantle the drop pod, which is this lovely thing behind us here. That'll give us the parts to make our hub. Um, bird. You don't have to worry about the birdies. Um, but in grass fields, got some pretty good space. Oh, Mr. Bean's over there. And let's go ahead and dismantle the drop pod. Dismantle mode, you just hit F to get into dismantle mode. And then left click to dismantle. Yeah, they want us to take a look at the codex. Tutorials, mark all is red. Um, pale berries here, that's something you can eat to, uh, get your health back, although you, now with update 6 you will passively regen your health back up to full, but in a fight you may need to use some, uh, food items to restore your health. And open up the inventory because they want to make sure you can defend yourself. That's what this guy does here. You can either click and drag it over or just double click and that'll put it in your hands. Oh, this time I don't even touch it. Hmm. All right. Uh, up next, we want to scan for some iron. That's on the V key. You get this little, uh, you press and hold, you get the, uh, Radial menu thing popping up. Right now, all we can scan for is iron, but once you scan for something, if you want to scan for the same thing again, you can just tap it. And we've got a lot of iron in the vicinity. <clears throat> There's no stamina in the game, so you can sprint all you want. I have it set up where I don't have to hold a button down. I just toggle it on and off. Uh, okay, we got a couple of iron nodes right there. Make a couple that way. Let's scan again. Okay, we got oof, four right in this vicinity see what we got in the area here got a limestone over there and we got ooh impure impure three impures might go looking for something else and we got one two three four they're all impure I'd like something a little bit better than that I'm gonna head off in this direction see what we can get up this way ignoring things for now there's two more impures up here. Kind of running in the south direction here. I'm looking for a specific spot. Oh, there's the little canyon. That means I'm getting close.
Right up here. There we are. This is what I was looking for. And... Now we can fall down. Ow. Here we have three normals. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with you. Ow. Would you stop that? Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Need to adjust the volume here a little bit. <clears throat> uh, audios. Uh, let's see here. Ambience. Oh, I want. Guess that would be the ambient volume. Drop that down to about a seventy. Maybe click apply, confirm, close that. I'll go find another one of them guys here in a little bit and. Mr. Bean. We've got a limestone there. We've got three iron nodes here. Another limestone there. And a copper up there, which is all you need for starting out all within a short walk. <laughs> so. And barrel nuts. Another handy little uh food item to get your health back up not quite as good as the pale berries but uh it'll work i didn't want to fall off the rock stay up here on the rock this gives us a nice high point to view from so let's go ahead and oh wait we can't build anything yet because we haven't mined any iron so, press and hold E. Or if you want to do a little bit of a cheat there, what you can do is you can hit E, open your inventory, and now your hand's free. Just don't hit E again. Or look away from what you're uh, building. Or mining. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and knock all three of those out. Real quick, I'm going to come back over here to our lovely rock. Something I'm going to have to build around eventually. And I'm going to plop the hub down. Yeah. Uh, let's... Actually, let me clear some of this vegetation out of the way here. We'll be making our factory here. Or starter factory, just so we can get the basics being constructed and put into storage. Once we get that done, then we can get up into building a much larger, more um pretty factory so Q to open up the build menu click on the hub I have these holograms set up to where green is great clear good to build I'll explain the other colors when it comes time for them I'm gonna actually tuck whoop Okay, up here, yep, red obviously cannot build. But I want to bring this guy fairly right up against the rock here. And we have the hub terminal and our craft bench so we can make things. 
let's first drop over here to the hub terminal we're gonna need to do hub upgrade one which means we need to craft up some iron rods we got over here we to make iron rods we need iron ingot so let's make up some iron ingots real quick nine and ten because we only need ten iron rods by selecting that milestone I it points there it puts up here in the top right corner of your screen what you need for your selected milestones so you always know what you need we have done that we can turn around and drop that off in the hub you can either drag it over or I prefer to just control click that'll move all the items that you have in your inventory up to what it needs shift click also works but that just moves a single stack now we have some personal storage we can put some stuff in there all the stuff we don't need we got a sort button for each side for your storage inventory your personal inventory you also have the sort button in your inventory screen you also have a little trash can down here to get rid of items from your inventory if you have too much so let's select hub upgrade 2 and now we need 20 iron rods and 10 iron plates Nine, ten, and to do the crafting you can once you select on what you want to craft you can come down here left click and hold with the mouse or you can hold the space bar down to craft or you can just tap the space bar and it will continuously craft now let's run this up here till we have the 20 that we need for the rods Oop. perfect and now we can just drop these off in here Oop. which now oh yep we can Oop, I forgot I should have I needed to slow down take it a little bit slower and explain our various things we are getting here one moment okay so with hub upgrade one we were able to get the equipment workshop which allows us to build equipment that we unlock like the portable miner here which can be placed upon one of those resource nodes so that we can start gathering material without having to manually beat on the node and also gave us three more inventory slots which is nice inventory space is a premium um hub upgrade two we unlock the smelter power line copper ingot copper wire and cable all your copper products for starting out and the ability to scan for our copper which I already know where some is but hold V and now you can switch between iron and copper and like I said it's right up there Mr. Bean you're always in the way but the reason why we need the smelter and wire is now we have a biomass generator here or bio 
biomass burner, which generates power for us. And we can come out here. Oops, no we can't. Because we need to open up the build menu, go to production, come down here to the craft bench, or the equipment workshop, which we need to have six iron plates and four rods for. So let's craft up some of that real quick. Six. And then make up some rods. Now we can put ourselves a craft bench down right here. I'm holding control so I can get it to come up right next to the hub here and place it down. Now over here in the this you can see we got our portable miner we can also make our xeno zapper which is our little stun thing to defend ourselves with but portable miner we need iron pl two iron plates and four more iron rods going to actually craft up a few of these so i'm just going to finish off our iron here Mm. Oh. Well, looks like we're going to need to get some more iron. So, let's go put some on the put one on the iron here real quick. To place your uh Fresh portable miner. Throw it in your hand slot. Take a look at it here real quick. And then look at a node and set it down. Now this little guy has a nice little animation when he first gets put down. Picks himself up and starts drilling. Now in here we have our see how he's collecting ore you can pick up everything with a single button click there you can pick him up by clicking that button and whatever's in his inventory will get picked up and thrown into yours but right now that should do nicely and let's pop back over here so we can get some more of these made some of these bang out a couple of these uh, portable miners because I want to put one more on the iron because we use a lot of iron there we go keep hitting the wrong button now we're also going to come over here hello pop up this ramp oh geez just going to do a quick little drive by here place that drop down And we can come back up here. Find him. He appears to have got himself stuck. Pick up his remains. Gonna leave the copper. No. Well, let's go ahead and pick up that little bit of copper just because. Probably gonna need it. 
And a nice round 25. We can come back up here and collect that in a little bit. Now these two guys over here should be... One of them should be fairly full. Yep, 91. 62, there we go. Now we've got a bit more iron to work with. So. For our next hub upgrade, yep, I was right. We're going to need a little bit of copper. So let's select that. Hey, let's go back and take a look. We got the constructor. Power pole, Mark 1. We've got se several levels of power pole. We will be able to make concrete, screws, and reinforced iron plates. And we can scan for limestone, but we have I know we've got one right over there, and one right there. But first... I'm going to go ahead and time lapse you through this, make up our iron copper ingots, and copper wire, and get our materials that we need for completing this hub upgrade. So, be back in just a moment. <clears throat> okay, we're back. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, craft up just a couple more of these portable miners just to have on hand. And we can go ahead and come in here and complete this. There we go. Now that we have the one biomass burner... Let's go ahead and get some automation going here. Not going to even look at the next milestone yet. But first things first, we need a couple of smelters. I'm going to plunk that guy down right there. Space them out just a little bit because the next machine in line is the constructor, which we don't have the parts for. So, let's see what we need for that. We need cable and reinforced iron plates. I just clicked up here on this plus button, which adds it to the to-do list over here on the right. Which lets us see how much we need of items for whatever we're selecting. And by clicking on that twice, we can get two of them. Or we can punch in however many we want. We want to try to, say, do 50 of them. But two is more than enough. So we need to get four reinforced iron plates and 16 cable. To do, <clears throat> to do the reinforced iron plates, we need iron plates and screws. Screws need rods, which we have a few on hand, so... Let's just bang this out. These little numbers here tell you how many you can make of a given item based upon what you have in your inventory. Oop. All right, we have enough to make the four of those that we need. But we are sh currently a little short of what we need for the cable, which needs the copper wire. So that we should just run on up here, pick up some more of the copper what copper ore. Find a space to jump up here. This guy is nice and full, so we'll pick him up. And run back down. 
Excuse me. Run over here. We needed the ingots. Just get enough to... Make a little bit more... Cable. We're going to need some extra for... Power lines. So... That should be good. Or not. Oh wait, I was looking, I clicked on the wrong one. That was the issue. And knock out the cable real quick. We're going to need some more wire for other things. Or the power poles. Reminds me, we need to go over and drop a miner on a... Uh, the limestone so we can have some concrete. Because... Over here, the power line takes cable, the power pole takes wire, rods, and concrete. So for that, we're going to need some of this. Honk him down there. Let him do his work real quick. Ooh! Trying not to run into things in midair. Uh, let's knock out some more of this copper wire. There we go. Unfortunately, that's going to take a little bit, but while we're working on other things, we can hit, let him mine out some of that. Let's come back in here to production, grab a constructor, and hold control. That'll help you line up the inputs and outputs of the machines. Get that to line up. Oh, we don't have the logistics yet. Do we? No, we don't. That must be this next one. Yes, it is. Which is going to need some concrete. So, while we're working on that, mm -hmm. go ahead and pick up some of that. Oop, that was almost enough. We picked up just enough concrete to make to fill our order for this milestone. For this one, we need 75 iron plates, which means we need to go get some more iron and 20 cable, which I think we can manage with what we've got right now. So, let's grab both of these. And I'll be back once I get all this crafted up. Alright, that's us back now, and we can... Oop. Wait, where am I going? I forgot what I was doing there for a second. Let's just pop some stuff in here. That gives us everything that we need to do that. And... Oop. Now we have 
Still just the one biomass burner. Go Ada. Um, but now we can use conveyor belts to feed things from one machine to another, which is handy because now we can set up for iron and copper. I actually want another one of these. I just use the middle mouse button there to select a building to build is handy space that out select the constructor which we need another couple reinforced plates for I forgot that part let's go ahead and knock that out real quick grab the constructor And we can do that. Place that in there. Now we need to get power for all of these. This will put out 20 megawatts worth of power once we add fuel. Each one of these needs four. That's four, eight, 12. And each of these uh, this one was copper. Is going to need four as well. So six times four is 24. Which is not going to work off of this one alone. So, for right now, we'll just run these four machines right here. So, we'll grab the power line, which is pre-loaded onto your hotbar on number two. Which... I forgot I need concrete so yeah I know what I'm doing I swear so let's make up some concrete this shouldn't take long and we don't really need all that much right now So let's grab power line, which will automatically want to place a power pole, which is a nice thing. So you don't really need the power poles on your hot bar like they've already pre-done. Turn around here, place down another power pole there. Connect that one to that one, that one to that one. Each power pole has a maximum of four connections it can make. So what we're going to do here is bring this guy back, place him down, and then connect him to the biomass burner. We need some biomass to throw in there, so we'll just come over here, grab the leaves out of the box. This ain't going to last very long, but we can plunk that in there. Even idle, these things do consume power. But we can now grab whoop, some iron ore out of this one. Let's go ahead have, have him making plate. This guy's already selected for iron ore. Stuff that in there. We need to go grab some copper. What I'm doing here is just doing a slide jump. You slide by crouching. I have that set up on the shift key. To really do the slide though, you need to be sprinting. And you cannot slide uphill, so you cannot slide jump up s slopes, unfortunately. But if you do it quick enough, You really get a nice little boost of speed so you can get around a lot quicker. Oop. 
This one here was our copper. Drop that in there. Is all that running up? That will now automatically make those two items. Um, how much free space do we have? We're using 16 out of our 20. So we could run a fifth one. A fifth machine just doing concrete. Which makes sense right now. Which we don't have the materials for. Uh, something just got done. Oop, no power. Because that just ran out of fuel. That's fine. We can make up some concrete real quick here. this way, but what I really need is a couple more reinforced plate. We'll be have to manually craft those for quite a while. Oh, we're a little short on cable. And check that. a little bit more cable and then run that over there you making concrete and throw the limestone in there what we need right now though is some more foliage for our power needs go pick up some leaves Which is real nice now because you can just, once you see something you can pick up, press and then hold E, and then it'll continually pick up as long as you don't pick your finger up off of E. And gather up a few here, but it'll only pick up the foliage. It will not do the do anything else. It's early game doing the gathering of all this foliage is quite annoying. Because you got to be running out and doing it quite a bit. Uh, I've gotten a fair amount. I got a full stack of leaves. And run this back over here now. And drop that off. And now we also have concrete being produced. We have copper wire being produced and iron plate being produced. Um, let's go out, grab a little bit more of this foliage here. Go ahead and pick up this iron and throw that in the smelter. getting some wood here. Oops. Moved the wrong finger. Wood burns longer, but you don't really get very much of it just by picking it up off the ground. 
So, I tend to hold off on using wood until I can convert it into biomass. Which should be coming up here shortly. That'll give us a little bit more power. Right now, I'm just going to put the wood into storage. Keep the leaves on me. And... Drop that in there. Set this one up for iron ingots. Set this one up for rods. But when we do get that... We can make use of it. So let's take a look now at Hub Upgrade 5, which will give us the automated miner, so we can actually no longer have to go pick things up, which will be nice. A storage container, just so we can store all the stuff out of the machines instead of only having a single stack. And some more inventory slots. Oh, the inventory. So we need to get copper, cable, and rods. We need some more rods. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Pick that up. I'm going to go and grab... The concrete and the copper up here. I should be picking up leaves on the way. And up here at the top of the hill again. Grab that. Just constantly grabbing some of this foliage. We'll be able to cut down trees here in a little bit. We just have to unlock the chainsaw. Which will be, once we get done with hub upgrade 6, we can do that. No, we need this one here. And then... Oh, that can use a little bit more. Go ahead and grab the plates out of there. Come over here, grab the wire. That'll let us get the cable. But we need to do up some iron ingots so we can get the rods. We don't need too many more. 25, 27 rods. This should also give us the... Uh, second biomass burner on the hub so we can generate more power and that's the 75 rods we need a little bit more cable oh the joys of manual crafting Turn around and take care of that. Now we have the second biomass burner. Oops. And we can go ahead and drop some of that in there.
And then connect that up. Actually, let me go ahead and fire that into there. Now we can actually We are missing cable. Alright, we need some cable. Always missing something. Uh, what's really painful is when you get done, you're almost done with a build, and you just need a little bit more of something. I need rods for the pole. Pick up a few of those. Do that. Now I can drop that in there. Just so I have them. And now we can pick these up because now we have the miner turn that around with the scroll wheel we can move that stuff around oops I want this which needs more concrete we're going to actually come over here real quick greetings Pick that up. And... Well, we should probably actually rearm ourselves. Deal with him. Now we can bring up the miner. Point it in that direction. Connect the power line to it. Out to there. And a belt. Reminds me, I need to bring... Go ahead and delete that. And we'll just grab one of these. Plant him there. And we can power line that to that. Okay. Shut that off. Actually, let's go ahead and dismantle all of this. Because we will be switching everything over to automation. So, this one here. And start working on that. Now, that is doing concrete. That out that way, actually. Bring this back this way a little bit. And then we can do a smelter. Just like that. Smelter just like that. <coughs> Holding control to make a nice, easy step. Snap mo Snap. Bleh. Snap it. Connect things up with belts. Well, 
like so. We're actually going to come in here to the down here to organization for our <clears throat> cans. So we can just have everything automatically stored into a can. Now we need to go... Oh, actually, let me go ahead and hook all of this up to power. Bring this forward. Connect to power. Whoop. That one to power. This one up to here. So that's all of those connected. We will have it, that one there. Oh no. That can stay connected to there. This one can then connect to that one. I just brought all of that online. Now we can grab another power line and bring over here. And then just organizing my power poles here a little bit. Run up here. Oh, it says wire is too long. So we'll plant it down there. Can't do that quick and easy. Well, since I'm now I got this thing opened up, I'm going to reset my shortcuts here. To do that, just hover over what you want and press the number key associated with the slot you want it in. I like to have the power lines there on number one, have the belts on two, the pole can stay on four, because three is for item coming up. Um, for right now, we can put the uh, storage container over here on seven. It doesn't live there, but since we're going to be using it here early on, and I don't fill out that uh, hot bar until much later in production, we can put the miner on eight, smelter on nine, and constructor on ten. Actually, we're going to reverse that. I'm going to put the Constructor on 8, Smelter on 9, and the Miner on 10. That way, they're in order. Miner to Smelter to Constructor to Storage. So now we just hit 0 or 10. Which reminds me, we need to pick up that. And get rid of this node out of the center. This outcropping out of the center of the node. So that we can place down the miner. Just stick it out and facing that way. We can hit number one now and give it power. And we'll just come down here. Make sure it's not clipping through the ground. We'll deal with the trees later. Yep, we're short on that. Oops, I didn't connect the outputs. And I didn't set the 
Instructors. Whoops. Nope. And I didn't set the smelters, so I have nothing here running. I am doing a good job. Okay, this here I can't do anything with just yet because that's a step for down the road. Well, <clears throat> I'll be right back, folks. I need to go and craft me up some uh, ingots so I can build my... Uh, get some plates on hand. So I'll be back in just a moment once all this is done. And there's one of those annoying sounds you'll come to hate. A complete loss of power because we've run out of fuel. And now I gotta pull the switch. Get that back on. Now we're going to get that. Bring it down. Uh, right about there. And then we can grab a smelter. Place it there, grab a constructor. Now, this one I'm not going to make a nice straight line with. This needs to be copper. We can put in some copper ore into that. And... And do a power pole, which we're missing rods for. Gonna need rods for the storage can as well. Grab a little bit of that, grab a little bit of that. Climb up here on the side. Every machine, box, a hub, everything has a ladder on it. So now we can do a container there. We can grab power. Power, connect them together. Go ahead and connect it over to that one. Power pole management is a fun thing to figure out. Okay, we'll just throw some wood in here right now. I'm not worrying about that. Whoops. Helps if you throw the wood in there first. Oh. Okay, we are over our maximum power all allotment. Because I have two extra machines that <gasps> this grid cannot support. <laughs> okay. So... For the time being, we're just going to have to disconnect those. I didn't realize that. I forgot to check that. So, for right now, we're just going to have to manually craft the copper. Unless... Nope, we don't have that yet. So hub upgrade 6, which is the last thing we're going to be doing in this episode. 
and then I'll add another biomass burner down just so we can fire up the copper which will then be able to craft biomass so we need a hundred wire I think I've got enough copper here to maybe get us enough yep it sure looks like it that's a hundred wire we have the plates we can get the rods right over here maybe sort that real quick we're at 76 rods we have more than enough plate Hmm, do we have the concrete? Not in storage. Because I never cooked it up. But... Grab all that real quick. We've got the concrete. But because we are short on rods, we're going to have to craft a little bit. Okay. That'll let us get the rods at least. Let's get that taken care of. Oops. Make up some rods. We'll get this knocked out. I think I'm just going to end it once we get the uh, up hub upgrade done. I'll do some uh, fuel gathering off cam so that you don't have to sit through that boring process. And then next time we'll set up a few things to help us progress through the various next bits and that is hub upgrade 6 complete we have a drop pod coming down now there it is uh, that thing is going to reside on the back of our hub uh, unless we send it off with a load of parts to turn in for project work. Ada, you can stop talking now. I want to take a look at this. Because next time we're going to be focusing on the base building so we can get foundation, start laying out a nice, neat, organized factory. Logistics, so we can get splitters, mergers, conveyor lifts, productivity display which I'll talk about productivity in the next episode and then the final one we will be doing in the next episode will be obstacle clearing which will give us the chainsaw solid biofuel which is the best fuel you can get for the solid for the uh, biomass burners and some more inventory slots so there's that and plenty more to come. I'll see you all in the next episode. If you like what you're seeing, please leave a like. Comment down below if you want. If you got any questions, criticisms, whatever. Um, want to keep up to date on what I'm doing? Please subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Get be notified when I next upload a video. So I'll see you see everybody in the next episode.